we just finished a really successful run of The Loves of Aaron Burr, and which went down yesterday, which was really sad. It was sad to see all the ladies leave. Um, and now we have something called Unpacked, which is about to open. It's from artist Pete Hoffmeister, and he um, is doing six contemporary installations inside the period rooms again, really about politics um, historically and then contemporary politics as well. So his is definitely the most um, conceptual contemporary art exhibit we've done so far. And I think it'll make people think even more outside the historic house box than even before. Tell me a little bit more about that exhibit. What does that entail? So he's creating um, installations in each of the period rooms that have something to do either with the decorative arts of the room or the politics behind the room. So for an example, in our front parlor, he's creating a piece that's actually um, each state cut out in black felt. But he's made them the size that correlates to the current prison population in each of those states. And it's going to be laid on the floor, so it's almost going to create a pattern like the patterned rug in the parlor right now. So talking a little bit about pattern and decorative arts of a historic nature. But then he found that the correlation between the prison populations today and the states that had the biggest slave populations in the 19th century actually is almost a direct correlation. So we're also talking about politics 18th, 19th century today as well. That's actually kind of stunning. Yeah, isn't that cool? And in this room, in Eliza's room, he's actually going to do projections of old 1950s vacation slides because a lot of what Eliza purchased in the 19th century, she purchased while she was on the Grand Tour, her sort of vacation to England, France, and, and Italy. So he's kind of morphing it to what, it, what do we think of as souvenirs today or in the 1950s? And it's such a difference between 1950s souvenirs to the furniture that's around us today, which was Eliza's souvenirs of the 19th century.